Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day today. I wanted to take a second just to make this video and share with you some of my favorite pumpkin spice picks of the season. It drives me absolutely crazy when I go and watch a YouTube video and the person spends like five to 10 minutes in their intro just talking about what they did that week and why they're making this video. So I'm going to leave you all exempt from that experience and just hop right into where I got everything. I don't like to drink cow's milk in my coffee because I feel like it upsets my stomach and almond milk just makes me feel like less weighed down and I get like the full effects of the caffeine in the coffee and I can just go on with my day. So when I went to Whole Foods the other day and I saw that Califia came out with a pre-made coffee mixed with almond milk, pumpkin spice latte, I guess if you wanna call it in a jug, I was freaking so excited. This thing was only like $4 on sale, so you already know I bought two. Um, it's great, and I thought we should try it. I really like to have this coffee over ice. You certainly can heat it up. I have heated it up. Um, the thing about almond milk is that because it is so thin that when people make things that are almond milk based, they tend to add things like xanthan gum or similar products as a thickener. So I've noticed that when you do heat it, it gets a little, like I feel like you can notice the texture a little more. So definitely try it iced, but this is the color. You can see the little flecks of all the spices in it. Um, I don't know when you drink it it's just so good the almond milk takes it makes it taste really like clean and not dirty like you're having just like a full of sugar drink it's just nice um there's actually only 80 calories per serving which i love and there's only 10 grams of sugar so it's not like a no sugar product for sure but when you're starting something in the morning or you need like an afternoon pick me up it's just nice and simple so that's number one to continue with the fall food theme at Whole Foods, um, I saw that Siggy's came out with a pumpkin spice yogurt. If you guys are familiar with Noosa yogurt, um, their pumpkin spice is absolutely insane. I don't have anything to show for this video right now because I ate it all, but I remember a couple years ago when I first tried Noosa, pumpkin was the first flavor I ever tried and I was like, oh my god, this stuff is amazing. Um, yeah, so I thought we tried it. This one also you can see like all the little pieces of like spices in it so it's not just like some whack flavor like they actually put cinnamon and like probably some allspice and nutmeg and clove in there. Mm. It's just so good. This only has 140 calories and 11 grams of sugar so I think when people eat yogurt they often forget that like it's advertised as this really healthy product, but there can be so much sugar in there, it can almost take the point of like eating it as a healthy alternative to something else out. So generally when I'm eating yogurt, it's as a dessert because I know that there's so much sugar in it. These are the bomb. Like there's been a couple times where I've come home and I've had dinner, but I'm just a little hungry at like 11 or 12. And this with like watching a Netflix special is just the perfect little combo. So if you guys go to Whole Foods, try the Noosa, try the Siggy's, and I'd love to hear what you guys think or if you prefer one over the other. Moving on. If you guys went to my Instagram, you would have seen that I did a little Ulta haul. I bought way too many things. And only after two trips, I became a platinum member. So I think it's safe to say that I have a little bit of a problem going there. But um, hemp is a great lotion, obviously made out of the hemp plant. Um, it's just really moisturizing, it's nice. Um, there's not a lot of like really terrible products in there. Um, it's paraben free, it's 100% vegan. This is a pumpkin spice and vanilla chai limited edition herbal body moisturizer. Um, this stuff is the bomb. I'm not even gonna front with you guys. I was at Ulta and I wasn't even gonna buy it, but then this girl was helping me and I was like, oh, what perfume are you wearing? And she said some perfume and I said, no, I don't think it's that, it smells like pumpkin-y. And she was like, oh, it's this lotion, you have to try it. So as soon as I went over there, I just like barely put my hand after putting it on under my boyfriend's nose and he looked at me and was like, we're getting it. So we got this and a mango nectar, but it's been, I don't know, like two weeks and we're already down to here. So needless to say, it's delicious. Um, what I like about this lotion is that it's not super sweet. You can go to Bath and Body and other like pumpkin spice carrying lotion places but it's just so sweet it's like always pumpkin vanilla cupcake or some like sickening sweet ridiculous combo but this i feel like the first thing you smell is the chai so that's really nice because it's just a heavy spice um 
centered product, which I really enjoy. Uh, I get compliments on this all day, every day. Every time my girlfriends come over to my house, they're going under my um, <laughs> cabinet to go find that and use it for themselves. So this rocks. Also, anything limited edition, I'm like a sucker for buying. So um, I'll probably be buying more of these really soon. So moving on with bath and body products, Mrs. Myers, this is the best soap ever. Put it by your kitchen sink, put it by your bathroom sink, put the lotion in your bedroom side table, put the cleaners all over your house. This brand is amazing. Um, they really focus on using natural products. It also is cruelty free and it's made without parabens. Um, MEA and DEA and includes no artificial colors, so that's great. There's so much crap and things that I don't think we're always aware of. So if you see a product that highlights the things that they don't have in it, do a little more research, figure out what those things are, and always pick the product that has the least amount of potentially horrible <laughs> things in it for you. Um, anyways, Mrs. Myers counts as one of those products and the pumpkin scent is absolutely delicious. It's not pumpkin spice, so it's not as spicy as like any of these other products that I'm showing you are, but it's just so sweet. It's sweet and it's nice and it cleans your hands and I've got about four of them all over my apartment, so. Okay, and finally we have the candles. Scents are all about what this season is about, so have to have a staple. When you go into Bath and Body Works, there's a ton of stuff everywhere. They've got everything from pumpkin soaps to bath bombs to lotions and a ton of candles. So it can be a little overwhelming, but fear not because I'm gonna tell you the only one that you need to buy. Pumpkin Caramel Swirl is the bomb. Like I said about things being like sickening sweet and just too much, Bath and Body Works has a lot of those. Everything's like pumpkin pecan waffle or pumpkin cupcake and it can just be a lot. Um, this with the caramel, I think, brings it down to earth a little bit, which is really nice. Um, yeah, I like it. Every time I've had it burning and someone's come over, they've asked me what it was. So I really enjoy this. It's sweet. It's easy. My dog's joining us in the video now. Um, yeah, go check this out. It's so good. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, you guys. Um, I hope you find all of these mini reviews helpful and that you go out and find some of these products for yourself. Or if you find products that you really like and want to recommend, please drop a comment. Check out my Instagram at Lola by Jules and there will be much more to come. Nice rug, I ain't talking real pie. I'm Cyclops on the 12th, come near, I, I Dress up when I hang with rich kids. I guess I'm hanging with rich kids, ayy. I just started some new shit, yeah. And we still watch your bootlegs. Say you wanna